Okay, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Yuki. I've missed you a lot. Thank you very much for watching my channel. I know my channel has various types of videos, not one genre, but like traveling, family trip, dance, music. But today's video is a little bit different. This is like first time for me to share the skill for me. Yay! I was so lucky to be able to support the international students from overseas. Those are the students in Tokyo. I was kind of dispatched from the university and from this April to June right now, I supported about 13 students from various countries like China, South Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, Philippines, Myanmar, India, Brazil, France, a lot of places. You know, it's still in the corona situation, but a lot of students wanted to come to Japan and study, and he or she have been waiting a long time. Finally, they could come to Japan, very happy, and I was, of course, you know, happy to support them. And I did not have enough chance to speak English with somebody. You know, usually I talk to myself, talk to my son, or sometimes shadowing. So I can use my English and I can also study, like learn English phrases because most of the students are more fluent than me, super genius. So the main task for me to do is supporting the new life of them. So this video is about how to start new life in Japan for international students. It's not the procedures in university campus, but oh, seems like the dishwasher just finished. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I have the golden fish, goldies in this room, so it could be a little bit loud. Like, <laughs> please just ignore them. Okay, so anyway. Uh, what I was gonna say? Oh yeah, the information that I'm gonna share from now on The very first procedures all the students need to do Also useful for the, anybody who's gonna start new life in Japan So main tasks for me to do is I would say like three things are main The one thing is very important Registering address I think all of the international students have the visas and they have the residence card like your face photo is on it and your name, gender, nationality, the expired date of the visa that has the back side and on the back side the city office gonna print your address if you don't register address in Japan you can proceed any other things Secondly, uh, registering national health insurance card and opening bank account in Japan. Those three are mostly important things. Okay, so let me talk about the you know procedures in city office. I visited a lot of city offices in Tokyo, like Mitaka City, Bunkyoku, Kotoku, Taitoku, Toshimaku. And mostly we're gonna do two things, registering the address and national health insurance card. So registering address, all you need to bring is the passport, residence card, and student ID. Yeah. And of course, please keep your address on the memos or somewhere document. So first of all, you need to fill out the moving in sheet. Mostly in English is okay. First fill out it and pull the number ticket. Wait for a while. I waited like an hour. Because in April or May, a lot of people are moving in. That's the moving in season in Japan. For school, company, their new year is gonna start from April. New semester is gonna start, so. And then we need to register the health insurance card. But we can do before registering address, so mostly we're gonna wait. The detailed procedure is a little bit different between the city or word. We don't wait that much registering health insurance card because in most of the city office, all the information are already transferred to the national health insurance card desk. 
so sometimes we fill out another document but yeah and then later the card will be delivered to your address or you can sometimes get the card on that day with that card, if you go to the clinic or hospital and buying the medicine, it's gonna be like 70% discounted. You're gonna pay just 30%. So that's very important if something happened to you. Uh, how to pay or how much it's gonna be is a little bit complicated. It depends on the person. The person had income last year or not is a big difference. Most of the students do not have any income last year. That means your health insurance fee will be very low. It's gonna be about like uh, 1,500 yen per month. For whole year, it's gonna be less than 20,000 yen. That's what I heard. And if you register National Health Insurance Card in April, maybe like two months later, your invoice of the National Health Insurance will be delivered to your address. The invoice is like a multiple by month. You can pay like monthly, or you can pay whole year one at once. You can choose whichever. It depends on like how long you're gonna stay in Japan. If it's just one semester, you can just pay like monthly, not to pay that much. And when you're moving out, you can adjust the payment fee. Those two are very important in Japan. You need to do it as soon as you move into new places like dormitory or mansion, like apartment. Okay, and then sometimes you might be asked about the national pension. So all the people who is over 20 years old and have the address in Japan, all of us should be the member of the national pension. There's, you know, national pension card, of course it's gonna be issued. But most of the university have the like a student special program exemption of paying the national pensions because a year before the students were not in Japan. That means no income in Japan last year. That means you do not have to pay anything. So we're gonna do two things together, like applying national pension and also you're gonna apply for the exemption program. So most of the time, first, the notification about your national pension or national pension card we will deliver to your address. But like a month later, uh, you're going to get the result of that student special program. If it's approved, you do not have to pay them. You can throw away the invoice or no husho, but still, please keep the national pension card with you. Still in Japan, the city offices, the procedures are mostly conducted on the seat. Still paper things. You need to write your name again and again. <laughs> A lot of sheet. It's not like digital yet, actually. It's unfortunate, I could say. But from the perspective of, you know, keep your personal information safe. I think paper can be still important because it's not easy to copy like your handwriting or anything. So. so that's all about city office procedures. Okay, so secondly, the bank account. So international student can open account at Yucho Japan Post Office. It's like this, Yucho. Yeah, Japan Post Office also have the bank too. That's called Yujo, Yubin Joki. And also about the SMBC. SMBC is like this, Mitsui Sumitomo Ginko. There are some differences. A lot of branches have different information. I was so confused, but like as a result, all I knew, that's very recent information. You know, Yujo Bank, they're trying to reduce the branches or the stuff at the each branch. So they want to save some time or like reduce their work at the desk. So Yucho Bank has the web application, Yucho Dialect Plus. The students by themselves, they should fill out the web form and then make the photocopy of the residence card, a box side of the you know addresses on it, and passport and student ID. So Yucho is like a web form. 
And big difference between you join SNBC is like whether you need a hanko seal or not. Mostly like this. So it should not be the rubber, like this place is not rubber. It should be like wood or horn or sometimes like very hard plastic. And also, if you're going to receive that scholarship, the scholarship company sometimes they're going to say, oh, we need Yucho or we need s n c So please ask them about it. And actually, whichever Yucho or s n b c the branch which will be written on your passbook. Passbook is like this, passbook, or the cash card. Cash card is like this, cash card. The branch should be the one closest from your home address or sometimes like working place, office, or campus of your university. So SNBC accepts the, you know, face to face registration. So all you need to do is reserve a、uh, time through the web form. You need to put like name, address, your date of birth, and then go to the branch directly. Then you're gonna show passport, residence card, Hanko seal. Hanko seal mostly they have like family name, but you know, alphabet, katakana, anything is okay for the international student. Because mostly they do not have kanji, so katakana, alphabet is okay.、Uh, the size of the Hanko. There's not the, some conditions, but I sometimes help e d making the hanko because it's very complicated. And if it's like, a, for example, like three katakana, it could be like about 12 millimeter in diameter. And if so, it's gonna be like 2000 yen. But if you need like long name, like five katakana characters, it's gonna be like 13.5 millimeter in diameter. That's a little bit bigger, so it's gonna be like 6,000 yen. It depends on the person. I created both sides. Mostly, you can't make it just one day. At least, please reserve it a day before. You can order on phone call. And next day you can receive and pay it. And I use Hanko Hiroba san, Hanko Hiroba, and Hanko 21, Hanko Ya 21. Yeah, you can use whichever. There are a lot of branches. Most of the station s they do have Hanko Shop. Okay, so it's NBC. So most of the time you can get the passbook on that day. It has some balance page and the cash card will be delivered about like one week or 10 days later, like this one.、Mm. So, what we can say for both of them,、uh, Yucho or SNBC, is that the very first six months from your arrival date in Japan, the bank account is considered as non citizen bank account. I'm not sure the details, but I heard that you know, because of the money laundering problem,、um, Japan got like a fail internationally about the security. So, a lot of banks making the rules very strict. So, the very first six months, it's a little bit limited. You can't transfer the money from your bank account. If it's cash, if you bring cash, not from the bank account, but with the cash, you can send money if it's less than like 100,000 yen. You can transfer the money by using the cash. But if it's y u c h o the transfer fee is super expensive, like 7,500 yen, that's all I heard. So SNBC is better, I think.、Mm. Also, you can't do the net banking. You can't connect with the PayPay, unfortunately, or the Suica. And also, you can't have the David or Visa, like, you know, credit card thing. Just deposit or withdraw. And the important thing with the passbook, all you can do is deposit. If you want to withdraw the money, you need to use the cash card. Yeah, a lot of rules, difficult. But you know, after six months, please come back to the bank branch with your passbook, Hanko seal, and your residence card. And then the bank account will be changed to the normal bank account. So after six months, you can make credit card, you can do the net banking, you can connect it with PayPay. So what we can say is that please wait six months.、Mm. 
and also uh, sometimes at city office or the bank branch we were asked like do you have the cell phone number in japan i think most of you do not have that one yet but you know having japanese mobile number is kind of important smbc just keep asking me like please register your mobile phone because you know through the dormitory or through the office you know we can't talk personally or they can't connect on the phone immediately so yeah having cell phone is also like difficult things because first of all most of the time you need to have the address in japan registering of course and sometimes we are asked to have the bank account so which one should we do? That's a difficult question, but yeah, sometimes your credit card from your home country could be accepted for the monthly payment for the internet. So students often choose Tamatsu with your smartphone or without smartphone, just the SIM card. If your device is iPhone or Android you brought from your country is SIM free, all you need to do is just buy the SIM card with Japanese mobile phone number. I would recommend you to use GTN. They do not have the actual offline shop, but every procedure is on internet. It's gonna take a week to receive the SIM card or smartphone but it's very reasonable I really recommend you to use it and also, you know, UQ Mobile or Y Mobile those are reasonable mobile company in Japan UQ Mobile uses AU Signal and Y Mobile uses SoftBank I thought yeah, major carriers signals so mm, let me have water Okay, so I thought like a lot of Japanese major mobile company like Docomo, AU, SoftBank, they have like two-year regulation, two-year contract. But I heard that it's disappeared because kind of illegal. If you have a lot of budget, you can make contract with Docomo, AU, SoftBank too. And we have a lot of branches. Of course, if you go to the large electric store, they do have the mobile section and they have sometimes have like English speaker or Chinese speaker, so it's very helpful too. It's not very difficult. You'll be safe. Mostly like that. Yeah, a lot of students really appreciated me. That was my pleasure and also i could learn a lot of things like now i could notice that oh my english does make sense so happy <laughs> and they say like oh your english is super fluent and very easy to listen so i was so happy but sometimes i search some word because sometimes i translate the conversation between like city office and student or bank branch office staff and students so sometimes it was a little bit difficult oh how do you say that i need to search it but by doing the same things you know i could learn a lot of words and because the students that i helped was graduate students trying to get the master's degree some students have worked some company and then come back to university so the viewpoint is very broad and they are very curious about like international relations or, like politics economics like social programs so yeah i could have like academic conversation with them that was very happy and i was like oh i feel like i'm still like a university student <laughs> Yeah, that made me really energetic. Yeah, something like that. So if you are planning to come to Japan or planning to live in Japan, please contact me. I can help you. I can come with you to the city office, the bank. I can help you a lot. Yeah, and if you're family, I'm also familiar with applying nursery school in Japan. Application of nursery school is very difficult, like Ninka Hoikuen, it's super difficult. <laughs> Even me, like Japanese moms, are very tired of confused with a lot of application, like documents, conditions, points. So if you do have some question about it, I can help you. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah, it's 
quite difficult to share in skill. I don't know I could talk well or not, but I hope it makes sense and I hope this information will help you some. Okay, so thank you so much for watching my channel and see you on the other video. Please subscribe and please give me thumbs up. Bye!